When he first took office in 2021, Governor Greg Gianforte said one of his top priorities was to reform what he called outdated and excessive state regulations. Now, the first large set of bills coming out of that effort is set to go before lawmakers. The purpose is to, for government to serve our citizens better. Gianforte put Lieutenant Governor Kristen Juris in charge of an advisory council to oversee the effort. Together with leaders from each executive department, they reviewed thousands of regulations and proposed hundreds of changes, from eliminating little-used licenses to consolidating state boards. Many of our boards haven't met for more than 10 years, so is the board really necessary? Is it a function the agency can more efficiently administer? Juris says more than 100 bills from the red tape relief effort have been introduced. About 20 have already had committee hearings this week. Most of those heard so far are relatively small changes and receiving wide support. But others coming up are more substantial. On Thursday, jurists and representatives from the Montana Department of Labor and Industry gave a presentation to lawmakers talking about some of the bigger proposals, including a 200-page bill overhauling occupational licensing code. Democratic lawmakers say they're not opposed to the idea of regulatory reform, but they have reservations about some of the administration's proposed changes. If you take it a step too far with a cleaver instead of a scalpel, you're going to remove very valuable protections for our citizens and our hardworking people. Representative Kelly Cordham of Bozeman says he's concerned de-emphasizing boards could shift power from citizen representatives to the administration. The beauty of these boards is it's a democracy. All the, all the voters get a vote, all the stakeholders, all the citizens. Uh, when you move that to an uh, executive branch, you kind of have to beg the executive branch to make the change for you instead of making the change yourself with your vote on these boards. Jurists acknowledged people may have concerns about things like how programs will get input if boards are eliminated, but she believes they've done a good job getting stakeholder input on the proposals. It's good to have those questions. It's good to have comments and input from the public. Jurist said these are only the first round of red tape relief, and she expects the review to continue throughout the administration's four-year term and potentially beyond. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.